हाय वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला स्पैनिश आई एम राजीव सक्सेना एंड आई टीच स्पैनिश इन द सेंटर ऑफ स्पैनिश पोर्चुगीज इटालियन एंड लैटिन अमेरिकन स्टडीज इन द जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी इन न्यू दिल्ली वी आर इन द पेपर एंटाइटल्ड इंटरमीजिएट ग्रामर इन दिस मॉड्यूल विच वी कॉल द प्रैक्टिकल स्पैनिश फाइव द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज that in the previous chapters we have dealt with topics such as verb charts etc these topics are to be understood properly as they require the attention of the spanish language learners and you have to do a lot of exercises to gain mastery over these verb charts so as i have said verbs are the most important part of the spanish language as we require them to express ourselves In this chapter we will deal with some examples through short stories or through short examples to understand the use of proper verbs and their conjugations in the adequate manner we will also have some exercises in the section marked self assessment in order to strengthen our grips on the topics covered please also remember to keep checking the section marked no more to understand and know more and have more resources available for you to learn the verbs because there are many other interesting ways of learning the verbs conjugation and how they are being used in different contexts so let us continue with the revision of some of the important aspects of a majority of things that we have dealt with in the previous modules so let us start with the conjugation of some reflexive verbs which we did in the past this module is entitled practical spanish or as we like to call it the section repaso the objective of this module is that we have in the previous modules dealt with several topics such as verb charts etc these topics are need to be understood properly as they require the attention of the spanish language learners also we have to take these verb charts and learn them and memorize each and every verb chart that is there we should also keep in mind that from time to time we should look at the section marked no more and see the links that they are there which give us interesting verb charts interesting ways of learning and the several possibilities of using spanish in different contexts so please also go to the section marked no more verbs as we have said earlier are the most important part of the spanish language or any other language as we require them to express ourselves in this chapter we will deal with some examples through short sentences and we can understand the use of proper verbs and their adequate conjugations we will also have some exercises which are in the section of self assessment in order to strengthen our grips on the topics covered so over here we will be doing a repaso or a revision of some of the important aspects of all the things that we have done in the previous modules so let us start off with the verb charts of some verbs and in their adequate tenses let us talk first about reflexive verbs reflexive verbs like acostar se are conjugated in the following manner yo me acuesto tu te acuestas él el, ella usted se acuesta nosotros nos acostamos vosotros os acostáis and ellos ellas ustedes se acuestan i repeat me acuesto te acuestas se acuesta nos acostamos os acostáis and se acuestan please i repeat once more remember that me acuesto is an integral unit you cannot put anything in the middle of me acuesto and you cannot 
remove ne from the acuesto. It has to be ne acuesto, te acuestas, se acuesta, nos acostamos, os acostáis, and se acuestan, always. The same is for afeitarse, to shave. Me afeito, te afeitas, se afeita, nos afeitamos, os afeitáis, y se afeitan. I repeat, yo me afeito, tú te afeitas, él, ella, usted se afeita, nosotros nos afeitamos, vosotros os afeitáis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes se afeitan. In the same sense, the verb arrepentirse, which is to feel sorry about, is yo me arrepiento, tú te arrepientas, él, ella, usted se arrepiente, nosotros nos arrepentimos, vosotros os arrepentéis, ellos, ellas, ustedes se arrepientan. I repeat, me arrepiento. Te arrepientas, se arrepiente, nos arrepentimos, os arrepentéis, and se arrepienten. Another verb that we would like to talk about today is asombrarse. We have already seen the conjugation of asombrarse previously, but let us have a look at it once more in this chapter of repaso, of revision. So, asombrarse is conjugated as yo me asombro, tú te asombras, él, ella, usted se asombra, nosotros nos asombramos, vosotros os asombráis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes se asombran. I repeat, me asombro, te asombras, se asombra, nos asombramos, os asombráis, and se asombran. It's very simple because now you know the pattern of this conjugation of these verbs. The same pattern is followed in a verb like calmarse, to tranquilize, to calm down. Yo me calmo, tú te calmas, él, ella, usted se calma, nosotros nos calmamos, vosotros os calmáis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes se calman. I repeat, me calmo, te calmas, se calma, nos calmamos, os calmáis, and se calman. Another verb which is of the, con uh, of the category of reflexive verbs is cepillarse, to brush. Yo me cepillo, tú te cepillas, él, ella, usted se cepilla. Nosotros nos cepillamos, vosotros os cepilláis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes se cepillan. I repeat, me cepillo, te cepillas, se cepilla, nos cepillamos, os cepilláis, and se cepillan. How do we do the conjugation of the verb despertarse, to get up or to wake up? Yo me despierto, tú te despiertas, él, ella, usted se despierta, nosotros nos despertamos, vosotros os despertáis, and ellos, ellas, and ustedes se despiertan. I repeat, me despierto, te despiertas, se despierta, nos Despertamos, os despertáis, and se despiertan. Again, remember that this is an entire grammatical unit. Me despierto, te despiertas, se despierta, nos despertamos, os despertáis, and se despiertan. You cannot put anything in the middle or you cannot delete anything from this entire grammatical unit. Now, let us move on to another verb, which is divertirse, to enjoy oneself, to have a good time. Yo me divierto, tú te diviertes, él, ella, usted se divierte, nosotros nos divertimos, vosotros 
os divertís. Ellos, ellas, ustedes se divierten. I repeat, yo me divierto, tú te diviertes, él, ella, usted se divierte, nosotros nos divertimos, vosotros os divertís, and ellos, ellas, ustedes se divierten. Another verb which is of the reflexive kind is dormirse. Dormir means to sleep. Yo me duermo. Tú te duermes. Él, ella, usted se duerme. Nosotros nos dormimos. Vosotros os dormís. And ellos, ellas, ustedes se duermen. I repeat. Me duermo. Te duermes. Se duerme. Nos dormimos. Os dormís. And se duermen. It's as simple as that. So, the pattern is very simple. Let us go on with the same pattern in the verb aprender. Aprender in the future is conjugated in a completely different manner. We have already dealt with the conjugation of the future tense in the section or in the module marked as the future tense. Please go ahead and try to remember that. So, aprender in the future is conjugated in the following manner. Yo aprenderé. Tú aprenderás. Él, ella, usted aprenderá. Nosotros aprenderemos without accent. Vosotros aprenderéis. Ellos, ellas, ustedes aprenderán. I repeat, aprenderé, aprenderás, aprenderá, aprenderemos. Aprenderéis and aprenderán. Another verb that I would like to talk about in the future is barrer. Barrer in the future is conjugated in the following manner. Barrer is yo barreré, tú barrerás, él, ella, usted barrerá, nosotros barreremos, vosotros barreréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes barrerán. I repeat, barreré, barreras, barrerá, barreremos, barreréis, and barrerán. It is very simple because you, once you know the pattern, then it becomes very easy to learn the conjugation of the verbs and conjugate the verbs and use them in your normal day-to-day -day communication. How do we do the conjugation of a verb like buscar in the future? Well, we use the same pattern that we've learned. We say, yo buscaré, tú buscarás, él, ella, usted buscará, nosotros buscaremos, vosotros buscaréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes buscarán. I repeat, buscaré, buscarás, buscará, buscaremos, buscaréis, and buscarán. So the pattern is the same as any other verb that we've done before, which is an AR ending verb. In the ER ending verb, let us pick up another verb, which is comprender, to understand. Yo comprenderé. Tú comprenderás. Él, ella, usted comprenderá. Nosotros comprenderemos. Vosotros comprenderéis. And ellos, ellas, ustedes comprenderán. I repeat. Comprenderé, comprenderás, comprenderá, comprenderemos, comprenderéis, and comprenderán. Another verb which we have seen previously in the future tense, correr, to run, is conjugated in the same pattern. Yo correré, tú correrás, él, ella, usted correrá, nosotros correremos, vosotros correréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes, correrán. I repeat, correré, correrás, correrá, correremos, correréis, and correrán. How do we do the conjugation of a verb, which is very important, which means to write, escribir, in the future tense? We use the same pattern. We say, yo escribiré. Tú escribirás. Él, ella, usted 
escribirá. Nosotros escribiremos. Vosotros escribiréis. And ellos, ellas, ustedes escribirán. I repeat, escribiré, escribirás. Escribirá. Escribiremos, escribiréis, and escribirán. In the same sense, another AR ending verb in the future is using the same pattern. So, escuchar, to hear, is conjugated in the following manner. Yo escucharé, tú escucharás, él, ella, usted escuchará, nosotros escucharemos, vosotros escucharéis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes escucharán. I repeat, escucharé, escucharás, escuchará, escucharemos, escucharéis, and escucharán. Another important verb which is estar in the future is conjugated in the following sense. Estar is to be. The conjugation is yo estaré, tú estarás, él, ella, usted estará, nosotros estaremos, vosotros estaréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes estarán. I repeat, estaré, estarás, estará, estaremos, estaréis, and estarán. It's very simple. How do you do the conjugation in the future of an important verb like haber? The conjugation of haber is in the future as yo abre, tú abras, él, ella, usted abra, nosotros abremos, vosotros abréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes abran. I repeat, abre, abras, abra, abremos, abres, and abran in the future uh, tense of the verb haber. Now, let us go on to a regular verb, AR ending verb, which is hablar, to speak. In the future, the conjugation of hablar is yo hablaré, tú hablarás, él, ella, usted hablará. Nosotros hablaremos, vosotros hablaréis, and ellos, ellas, ustedes hablarán. Now, let us look at the present perfect regular participles. For example, aprender. Yo he aprendido. Tú has aprendido. Él, ella, usted ha aprendido. Nosotros hemos aprendido, vosotros habéis aprendido, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han aprendido. So, it is he aprendido, has aprendido, ha aprendido. Hemos aprendido, habéis aprendido, and han aprendido. The pattern to be so seen over here and to remember is the conjugation of haber is a as a, hemos habéis an, and all that you have to do is to remember the ar and put ado or remove the er and ir and put ido. So it is a aprendido, as aprendido, a aprendido, hemos aprendido. Habéis aprendido and han aprendido. Of the verb asistir, it follows the same rule, the same pattern. Yo he asistido, tú has asistido, él, ella, usted ha asistido, nosotros hemos asistido, vosotros habéis asistido, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han Asistido. I repeat, it is he asistido, has asistido, ha asistido, hemos asistido, habéis asistido, and han asistido. Of the verb beber, to drink, how do we conjugate it using the past participle? Well, we use he as a, hemos habéis an, and remove the er 
and put ido. So it becomes a bebido, as bebido, a bebido, emos bebido, a base bebido, and an bebido. I repeat yo a bebido, tu as bebido, el elia usted a bebido, nosotros hemos bebido, vosotros habéis bebido, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han bebido. How do we use the verb borrar with the past participle, with the same pattern? So the pattern remains the same. Yo he borrado, tú has borrado, él, ella, usted ha borrado, nosotros hemos borrado, vosotros habéis borrado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han borrado. I repeat, he borrado, has borrado, ha borrado, hemos borrado, habéis borrado, and han borrado. What do we do in the case of an AR ending verb which is regular like cantar? The same thing we do. Yo he cantado, tú has cantado, él, ella, usted ha cantado, nosotros hemos cantado, vosotros habéis cantado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han cantado. So, the rule remains the same. All you have to do is to remove the AR and put the ADO. For the ER and the IR, remove that and put IDO. So, for cantar, it is he cantado, has cantado, ha cantado. Hemos cantado, habéis cantado, and han cantado. It's a very simple pattern. The same, comer. It's an ER ending verb. Remove the ER, put IDO, and then it becomes simple. Yo he comido, tú has comido, él, ella, usted ha comido, nosotros hemos comido, vosotros habéis comido, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han comido. I repeat, he comido, has comido, ha comido, hemos comido, habéis comido, and han comido. How do we do the conjugation of a verb like comprender? The comp comprender also follows the same set pattern. Remove the ER, put ido, and put the uh, auxiliary verb haber. Yo he comprendido, tú has comprendido, él, ella, usted ha comprendido, nosotros hemos comprendido, vosotros habéis comprendido, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han comprendido. I repeat, he comprendido, has comprendido, ha comprendido, hemos comprendido, habéis comprendido, and han comprendido. In the verb dar, we follow the same rule, the same pattern. Yo he dado, tú has dado, él, ella, usted ha dado, nosotros hemos dado, vosotros habéis dado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes han dado. I repeat, he dado, has dado, ha dado, hemos dado, habéis dado, and han dado. How do we do the conjugation of a verb which is a reflexive verb? Well, as I've said, that you cannot put anything between a and ado or a and ido. So the reflexive me, te, se, nos, os, se come before this grammatical unit, which is a. So let us pick up a verb like despertar se to get up. So it is yo me he despertado, tu te. Has despertado, él, ella, usted se ha despertado, nosotros nos hemos despertado, vosotros os habéis despertado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes se han despertado. I repeat, me he despertado, te has despertado, 
se ha despertado, nos hemos despertado, os habéis despertado, and se han despertado. So it's very simple. Let us move on to another set of conjugations which you have done previously, which is the future perfect. So let us start with a simple verb like abrir, which is a regular IR ending verb. So the future perfect becomes yo abre abierto, tu abras abierto, el, ella, usted abra abierto, nosotros abremos abierto, without an accent on abremos, vosotros abreis abierto, and ellos, ellas, ustedes abran abierto. I repeat, abre abierto, abras abierto, abra abierto. Abremos abierto without accent, abreis abierto and abran abierto. How do we do the conjugation of a verb like aguantar? To suffer, to manage, to continue. So, aguantar is yo abre aguantado, tu abras aguantado, el, ella, usted abra aguantado, nosotros Abremos aguantado, vosotros abréis aguantado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes abran aguantado. I repeat, abre aguantado, abras aguantado, abra aguantado, abremos aguantado, abréis aguantado, and abran aguantado. Another verb that we would like to discuss today in the same tense would be aprender, to learn. Yo abre aprendido. Tu abras aprendido. El, ella, usted abra aprendido. Nosotros abremos aprendido. Vosotros abréis aprendido. And ellos, ellas, ustedes abran aprendido. I repeat, abre aprendido, abras aprendido, abra aprendido, Abremos aprendido, abreis aprendido, and abran aprendido. It is very simple because all of them are following the same set pattern that we have taught. So, following the same pattern, a verb like asistir. What happens with asistir? The same pattern remains. Yo abre asistido. Tu abras asistido. El, ella, usted abra asistido. Nosotros abremos asistido, vosotros habréis asistido, ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán asistido. I repeat, habré asistido, habrás asistido, habrá asistido, habremos asistido, habréis asistido and habrán asistido. What happens for a conjugation with the verb beber? Yo abre bebido, tú abras bebido, él, ella, usted abra bebido, nosotros abremos bebido, vosotros abréis bebido, and ellos, ellas, ustedes abran bebido. I repeat, abre bebido, abras bebido, abra bebido, abremos bebido, abréis bebido, and Abran bebido. How do we do this in the verb like borrar, which is a regular AR ending verb? We follow the same pattern, which is yo abre borrado, tu abras borrado, el, ella, usted abra borrado, nosotros abremos borrado, vosotros abréis borrado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes abran borrado. I repeat, abre borrado, abras borrado, abra borrado, abremos borrado, abreis borrado, and abran borrado. The same rule is followed for a verb like cantar, which is an AR ending verb and is a regular verb. So, cantar is conjugated in the following manner. Yo abre cantado, tu abras cantado, el, ella, usted, 
habrá cantado, nosotros habremos cantado, vosotros habréis cantado, ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán cantado. I repeat, habré cantado, habrás cantado, habrá cantado. Habremos cantado, habréis cantado, and habrán cantado. How do we do the conjugation of a verb like comer? Yo habré comido. Tú habrás comido. Él, ella, usted habrá comido. Nosotros habremos comido. Vosotros habréis comido. Ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán comido. I repeat. Habré comido, habrás comido, habrá comido. Habremos comido, habréis comido, and habrán comido. The same pattern is for verb like comprender, which is to understand, and is a regular verb in the ER ending. Yo habré comprendido, tú habrás comprendido, él, ella, usted habrá comprendido, nosotros habremos comprendido, vosotros habréis comprendido, and ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán comprendido. Habré comprendido, habrás comprendido, habrá comprendido. Habremos comprendido, habréis comprendido, and habrán comprendido. Now let us pick up an AR regular verb like dar. So, dar follows the same set pattern of yo habré dado, tú habrás dado, él, ella, usted habrá dado. Nosotros habremos dado, vosotros habréis dado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán dado. I repeat, habré dado, habrás dado, habrá dado. Or habremos dado, without accent, habréis dado, and habrán dado. What happens with a verb like decir? Well, decir, which is an IR ending verb, follows the pattern of an IR ending verb and is conjugated in the following manner. Yo habré dicho. Tú habrás dicho. Él, ella, usted habrá dicho. Nosotros habremos dicho. Vosotros habréis dicho. And ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán dicho. So, please remember that decir is irregular in this past participle, that is why it is dicho. So it is yo habré dicho, tú habrás dicho, él, ella, usted habrá dicho, nosotros habremos dicho, vosotros habréis dicho, and ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán dicho. So it is as simple as that. How do you do the conjugation of a reflexive verb like despertarse? which means to get up. So, despertarse in the future past participle is yo me habré despertado, tú habrás despertado, él, ella, usted se habrá despertado, nosotros nos habremos despertado, vosotros os habréis despertado, and ellos, ellas, ustedes, se habrán despertado. I repeat, me habré despertado, te habrás despertado, se habrá despertado, and nos habremos despertado, os habréis despertado, and se habrán despertado. What happens with a verb like escribir, which is an IR ending verb? It follows the same pattern. Yo habré Escrito. The only thing is, like decir, escribir is also irregular in its participle. So it is dicho for decir and it is escrito for escribir. So it is yo habré escrito, tú habrás escrito, él, ella, usted habrá escrito, nosotros habremos escrito without accent and vosotros habréis escrito and ellos, ellas, ustedes habrán escrito. I repeat, habré escrito, habrás escrito, habrá escrito. 
habremos escrito, habréis escrito, and habrán escrito. So, now that we have seen all these verb formations and their tenses, we would like to conclude that we have tried to cover up in this revision, in this repasso, whatever we have studied in the previous modules. We should refer to other sources to gain more knowledge about these topics in the section marked no more and moreover we should go on to the section marked self-assessment and do the tests which are given over there to test your knowledge to practice and become perfect in Spanish. Muchas gracias.